Hi, Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I really appreciate all of your love and support. In this reading, we're going to find out who has been thinking heavily about you and why. Today is the 27th of August, 2023. Time here in Hoi An, Vietnam is 7.53 p.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. And if this video finds you, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same sign. All right, now let's get your reading started. Spirits and Angels, please show me for Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Who has been thinking heavily about them and why? Please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and this person. Ten of Cups and reverse at the bottom of the deck. Oh, and also Ten of Pentacles and reverse. Um, this is somebody you are very, very close to, okay? Two tens here. This can indicate a family member or someone. Um, Either a family member or somebody you're very close, used to be very close to, okay? There's a separation between the two of you because of the Ten of Swords in love verse. Maybe this is somebody you have released. And the Page of Cups here in love verse. Maybe this is somebody very immature or younger than you are. Doesn't matter the age, but definitely there's some immaturity. Or maybe this person has said something to you that was very immature or uncalled for okay so i do sense this person thinking heavily in regards of how perhaps you have been there for them through ups and downs with the five of uh, five of pentacles uh five of pentacles is also a missing card for me so i do sense that this person actually does miss you but i feel like there's someone you're not talking to right now because ace of swords is in love first same goes to seven of swords in love first something has happened between the two of you some sort of betrayal he could be thinking heavily in regards of reconciling with you through pentacles, work things out with you, fix things with you. High priestess here is in love first, so wanting to open up communication, wanting to tell you the secrets or something that they've been hiding. But they are indecisive with the two of wands, hence they could be thinking heavily about you right now, okay? Let's see more. This person could be somebody like you are, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, uh, Leo with a page of wands. Hmm. I sense this person could be thinking about wanting to extend an olive branch, apologize. But they're hesitant because of the two of wands. They're not sure whether they should or shouldn't. So they're in the midst of making this decision, and this could be the the reason why they could be thinking heavily about you right now. Got the King of Cups here. Maybe this is someone who has left you out in the cold, right? Maybe you've been there for them, but something happened. You see, the Swords, Eight of Swords, Emerald First, Ten of Swords, Emerald. Maybe this is someone that again. Uh, you may have felt betrayed by this person or they may have stabbed you in your back at one point in time. I do sense I'm feeling bad about it though. Okay, five pentacles, seven swords, and one first. This person could be thinking heavily in regards of healing this connection, healing this situation. There's definitely trouble in paradise, ten of cups, in love first, this harmony between you and this person. At one point in time, both of you did, did come together uh, as a family. Again, this could be a family member or someone you start a family with or thinking that you would start a family with or someone you were in a relationship with or could have been married to. I feel like it's all kind of like connected in some way, shape or form, okay? Um, but... This is somebody you've spent time with, not just with them, but with a group of people, okay? I do sense this person really wants to apologize. 
and talk to you. Page is a messenger opening up to you and ask if both of you could come together, fix things together. Rebuild this connection. But they're not sure. Two of Wands. If they should or should not take actions towards you. And the lovers here is in what verse? So we've got the hangman. Maybe there's someone you've sacrificed a lot for. This person could be thinking maybe they need to make certain sacrifices in order to come forward. And to fix things with you. Yeah, three of pentacles. Lovers here is in what verse? There is a separation between the two of you. And for sure, Nine of Swords here is in what verse? So it has been weighing a lot on their mind about extending an olive branch. Again, Page of Wands. I think this could be the main reason why this person has been thinking heavily about you. I think that's because they're trying to make a decision to reach out, talk to you, to apologize, make things better. And again, it feels like maybe this person was very childish or something that they did or said may have been really uncalled for or perhaps they could have stab you in your back, betrayed you in some way, shape or form, okay? And the King of Cups is right here. This is your energy unless Rosa being reversed here. I feel like this is somebody where you've cared for, cared about, or cared about how or what they think about you at one point in time. The King of Cups can be quite sensitive, so they may have hurt your feelings, okay? For some of you, it's hurting someone's feelings, but for some of you, it's something even worse, even worse because of the Ten of Swords here in what first. This person may have lied about you, may have been very deceptive or sneaky, done something behind your back. So I sense this person feeling sorry, is feeling sorry about it. And pondering with that idea of talking to you I think that's the main message. That's the main message. This person really wants to heal this connection with you, okay? This situation, but they're not actually doing anything right now. I sense them wanting to, but they're not doing it. But Three of Pentacles as the last card for me definitely is an indication of them thinking heavily in regards of rebuilding trust or rebuilding this connection with you after a period of uh, separation all right what a science pisces cancer and scorpio this is your reading i hope you resonated in some way shape or form if you did please hit like share and subscribe i'm open for personal readings if you'd like to book me my information is in the description box below feel free to subscribe to my other channels called uh chelsea vlogs it's my travel channel i've been very active on that channel so again check check it out if you want to and uh, for those of you who like to book me for, I'm not sure if I already said that, but if you like to book me for a personal reading, my information is in the description box below. And I've, and I've also added two new services. And uh, the first one is where you can book me for a tarot reading, but it's a live tarot reading, okay? So we'll do a video WhatsApp call and you can ask me as many questions as you like within 30 minutes except for health questions. I don't answer health questions, even though I can read it, but it's best for you to seek professional help, okay? Uh, if that's your question, but anyway. Second new service that I'm offering is if you wanna chat with me for, uh, for an hour, okay? I can tell me your problems, um, if you just want a listener, or if you want to hear some advice, I can also do some tarot reading for you as well at the same time. I noticed that every time, like a lot of my tarot clients, after reading, they always want to chat. They always want to tell me more about what's happening, what has been happening. So I thought this would be something that somebody would be interested in, okay? Just putting it out there. Um, you can click on the first link in the description box below. It's a link tree link where when you click on it, it takes you to my account where you can book me. This is a site where you can book 
me for either one of these services or even both if you want to okay and for those of you who like to be notified every time when i post a videos and every time when i go live don't forget to hit on the bell notification button and on my live reading my live stream I, I usually do all 12 individual sign readings. I know some of you have been complaining about me doing um, collective readings. But yeah, right now at this moment, I mean recently, I've been doing a lot of 12 individual sign readings during my live stream. So catch it if you want to. Um, I know that I keep changing things around. That's because I don't want to be stagnant. I do get bored. I do feel like sometimes I'm stuck in a rut. So I always try to be uh, creative and try to do something different. So I really appreciate each and every one of you uh, who have been with me for a long time. Okay. Um, since I started this channel, I really, really appreciate it. And just do the best that you can to go along with me. I understand that sometimes when I change things around uh, you may not like it because you're used to a certain routine, but just bear with me and grow with me. But anyway, take care. I hope to see you back here again sooner than later. Bye.